No, but I like that question. It's very intelligent question. It's obviously studied physics. So he's asking me, how does the laser know when to stop counting? It goes to what depth and how does it stop? So I'm not going to explain the physics of it briefly without going to bore you. Ask me any questions if you like. Um, so the target for the, this particular laser is actually the water in the tissue. It's ordinary fluids, lots of fluid in the tissue. And it's quite like it's a bit like a smart bomb because the laser energy in the light from the laser light gets absorbed by water in a predictable way. And if I set the laser on phase of energy, we'll just get something like a 15 microns, 15 millionths of a meter depth. And if I set it to a higher energy, we'll get more. We're going to go sort of moderate, so we're going to go 20, 25 microns. It's very, very precise. It just keeps doing slivers like that. Slivers until we've done enough. It doesn't sound like a nice stuff. It's not a tool. It's no stormtroopers. It's really, really precise. That's the great thing about it. And especially this one on your nose, which is a different animal. This is a mole, which I'll need to, to, to do. I'll take down until we go to play. This one, when you've got through a, a, a separate keratosis, it's on top of the skin. And when you've got through 90% of it, it kind of goes, okay, okay, I give up. And the last little bit, I can wipe away with a bit of gauze. Wow. Which is really helpful because that causes very little insult to the remaining skin behind and excites very little scarring. So this scar, Although you will have a scar, I'll tell people it is surgery, but frankly, you'll be hard pressed to find it in a year or two. It's, it's so small, so supple, the scar. So, other than like a steel scalpel plate, I can have different shapes of laser light because the, the laser beam coming out of here can be controlled, make it rectangle, make it a square, I can make it circular, I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. Starting at uh, five and a half, and, but, but I adjust as we go through. This is just where I'm starting. And the depth is depending on how much energy I'm actually delivering to the water, the, 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 the water in the tissues. So I can go very mild, which will almost do nothing at one mini tool, through to 10, which will do quite a bit more. But we're going to go fairly modestly, just to start with. So most of the pigment that you have in that is gone. Hopefully it will stay away. No, but it's certainly flat down. You're fine, are you? I'm not feeling anything. No, no, don't worry about it. It's good. good. It's a big feather. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. I've been using these things for 25 years and I still find them extraordinary. 